Hello guys, welcome to Asian Patriot. Can you all guys hear me? I think you can. Um, hello guys, welcome to Asian Patriot. And um, Genesis is actually going to uh, world premiere the uh, Genesis GV70 um, EV model in about five minutes. So uh, this is live. So uh, if you have any questions, um, I'm going to try to show you as much as we can, uh, all, although uh, I have limited information. So uh, Genesis is actually going to uh, world premiere the uh, Genesis GV70 all electric vehicle um, in five minutes. In the, they're at the uh, Guangzhou um, Auto Show located at China. And uh, really just wanted to share this uh, moment with you guys and also share your thoughts. Um, some of you asked uh, whether uh, it's going to be. Uh, platform the uh, all EV uh, platform but I think it won't be uh, I think it will share just like uh, Genesis G80 I think it's gonna share its own platform but have the battery on the bottom but uh, because it's an SUV I think it's gonna be quite all right so uh, thank you guys all for tuning in um, so we're gonna wait let's wait for the uh, genesis uh to uh because they're gonna start in five minutes i started a little bit earlier so i can say hello to you guys um so let's take a look at this size uh you know this is the uh, standard model uh, genesis gv70 comes with uh, either standard model or sports model and this is the uh, standard model and uh size wise it's very similar to hyundai tucson um but it's a little bit larger um so uh, it should be similar to Hyundai Tucson, but because it has a rear-wheel drive, um, it's it's um, a little bit smaller inside, but uh, should be very similar to Hyundai Tucson uh, for your reference. And uh, this is what the uh, sports model looks like. Uh, it's got a black bezel headlamp system, a uh, little different grille here and there. and. Um, for the sports model, it's got three spoke steering wheel design, and you can get it with the red one. Um, if you get a standard model, you get a two spoke, which you guys don't really like, um, and uh, still looks very nice. Um, and we have some a little bit more time um, here in Korea. You can get uh, Genesis GV70 with three different engine choices: 2.5 liter turbo, which is also used. Uh, for new Kia Stinger and a 3.5 liter twin turbo which is used for Genesis GV80 G80 uh, for this guy too um, so uh, and also 2.2 liter diesel um, I don't know why would you get uh, this uh, premium model with a diesel but uh, it's the same unit that is used for Kia Carnival and uh, Hyundai Santa Fe and many other SUVs uh, all are made it to a speed automatic you can also get it as a rear-wheel drive standard or add a um, all-wheel drive system outputs is as shown a uh, 304 horsepower for the 2.5 liter turbo and uh, 380 horsepower for the twin turbo 3.5 liter diesel um, so yeah I mean just really wanted to give you a little update refresh your thoughts about the Genesis GV70 uh, and uh, they are okay let me just show you this one uh, they're still getting ready um, so if you have any questions uh, anything you'd like to see let me know in the comment section I mean I haven't gotten any um, press kits or anything like that uh, from Genesis or Hyundai so let's I have to uh, <laughs> wait and watch it together with you uh, what kind of platform uh, I think uh, it's gonna be on the Genesis GV70 platform, which is shared with the Genesis G70. Thank you, Boom Tender. Uh, thank you guys all for tuning in. And um, yeah, this is uh, one of those uh, watch together sort of a video uh, because we cannot be at the uh, Guangzhou, China. Uh, just really wanted to share our thoughts and what we think about the new Genesis GV70. So um, yeah, just let me know how do you like this format. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy it. Um, yeah, no problem, George. Uh, Jason, I um, think they're going to uh, start in a minute or so. Mazda, come on, chic. Mazda, this is Genesis. <laughs> so, if you ask me, I, I think the you know Genesis GV70 is the second SUV coming out of the Genesis um, gates, and uh, 
you know, there's, there's uh, Genesis GV80, and uh, compared to Genesis GV80, I think I like the G Genesis GV70 better because G80 is just it's too big and large, and the interior space-wise, uh, compared to Hyundai Palisade or Kia Terraride, it suffers lots of interior space because it's river-driven platform. So if you ask me, um, I think I would recommend uh, to my friends uh, Genesis GV70 and because they're having the all electric vehicle um, too I think it should be quite nice and then I have the feeling and uh, the, the Genesis GV70 will be the best-selling Genesis um, SUV yeah so yes I, I heard lots of you guys uh, talking about the uh, Kia EV9 concept uh, and uh, Hyundai 7, which will be uh, Hyundai Ioniq 7, uh, released in the LA Auto Show. Um, yeah, I really wanted to go to LA Auto Show, but uh, did not happen. But uh, next week here in Korea, next Thursday, uh, actually on the 25th. So 24th for you guys, uh, we're going to have a LA Auto Show here in Korea. So we're going to try to show you uh, many cars from uh, Hyundai, Genesis, um, Kia, and other brands as well. So stay tuned for that as well um let's see why isn't genesis starting the oh they're starting okay so let me just be quiet oh i have no sound or all Yeah, they're showcasing um, the new cars. I guess they have a new studio in uh, China too. Nice. And also, um, guys, please uh, like this video uh, to support it. Um, <laughs> really matters, okay? Great things continue. Uh, I don't speak ch Chinese, so uh, oh my god, they're gonna do this in Chinese. Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, oh, nice. English. Chief Executive Officer of Genesis Motor China. I don't speak Chinese, so. Hello, Guangzhou. Welcome to Genesis. <laughs> okay. I'm so happy to be here He's the head of the Genesis China. At Auto Guangzhou and to meet our generation Genesis. Over the past 12 months, Genesis has embarked on an audacious journey in China. Last November, we promised that we would launch in the Chinese market this year, okay. and we did so, so in spectacular fashion in April, achieving. Sorry, guys. The uh, world they're doing the, uh, the they're doing the uh, the corporate thing. Um, point, but uh, yeah, hopefully they will show us the car. <laughs> the so I hope that does not happen. Something like a few I days ago, uh, we really wanted to show you Kia EV9 concept, and they showed it a little bit. But uh, hopefully, hopefully by the end of October, this. This should Already. be quite nice. During this time, we've also been busy delivering many. So maybe I should. Uh, we open the first Genesis Studio, a luxury lifestyle oasis this better? in downtown okay. Shanghai. We unveiled the first. So they have the Genesis Studio in uh, Shanghai. Co-invested nice. and jointly operated under a new agent model. We extended into the lifestyle territory, collaborating oh, with Shanghai Oh, Leonardo Ling, um, wow. We introduced three so it's, it's, uh, it's been, LA Auto Show has been uh, spotlighted G80, by GVA Korean brands, I guess, huh? G70, as well as the China exclusive G70. Uh, Andrew, I'm not sure about the uh, Genesis GV80 uh, EV, um, but really hope uh, they make a hybrid model. 
or plug-in hybrid because Genesis GV80 is a really lovely car, but it's very thirsty. It's got 3.5 liter twin turbo, all-wheel drive, so it's a very thirsty. So really hope a plug-in hybrid it will be very nice. Well, Bert, uh, but uh, Genesis and uh, the Hyundai is pushing the car, so really hope uh, they will sell quite a lot. Okay. The the video feed is coming from Guangzhou, uh, China. <laughs> Donald Trump. I don't know. No, he's, he's not Donald Trump. All of this is just the beginning of our journey in China. When we announced our arrival, we proudly hosted the world premiere of the Genesis Electrified GV. Yes, uh, 2.5 liter, 3.5 liter uh, twin turbo Genesis GV70. A lot of difference. Um, we are following up I think it's 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 car. like five seconds for the 3.5 liter twin Genesis turbo, but uh, only like I'm very happy and six point something uh, for. 2.5 liter turbo and uh, you really feel a lot of difference like 3.5 liter twin turbo is really massive you know it pulls very strongly but uh, 2.5 liter is little I am Jay Chang thank you for joining us today it's been a while since we last met finally huh? and a lot has happened during that time we have launched three exceptional models and one limited edition exclusive designed for the Chinese market. We have already delivered the first batch of cars directly into Chinese customers' hands. Even though Genesis is a relatively young brand, we have vision to expand our global footprint. In addition to China, we have officially launched our brand in Europe and we achieved record-breaking global sales. Chinese market plays a crucial role in the development of our global business. As a new brand in China, we want to be a disruptor, creating something that truly fulfills disruptor. our customers' needs. Nice, nice, I like that. This is reflected in our China tailored business model, which recently entered full operation. And now, I'd like to share with you our no, new No petrification, I really need a haircut. Um, full of yeah, I'm going to go uh, this weekend. So. Driven by a vision to add a whole new dimension to the customer experience. And guys, uh, we made a new shirt too. Our global vision to create a sustainable future like this. through electrification is a natural extension of our original commitment. Dating back to the launch of Genesis in 2015, the commitment to creating a positive impact in our customers' lives. I believe our journey towards a sustainable future will resonate with China's vibrant and confident customers who share the same progress values as us. China is an accelerator and a trendsetter when it comes to electrification. This is why <laughs> we premiered the Genesis first EV model. You guys are funny. Electrified the G80 at the Shanghai Auto Show. Yes, I've seen the screen. Mark, game is the beginning of our journey into the EV market representing the Genesis brand in the era of electrification. Today, we are revealing another exciting new model that celebrates our audacious first step into this sustainable future. We greatly appreciate your interest and support. Thank you. See you here. See you here. Hello, everyone. Joining us here in Guangzhou today I'm Sangyeop Lee. Oh, the designer, famous line, designer, right? Genesis is on a new path that leads towards as a vision for a sustainable future. From a design perspective, you know, I, opens you know, I thought they were gonna send me like a press kit or something information about the car, but they didn't send Genesis me send me anything. So I just gonna have to wait and to see it with, with you guys. Customers. Through design, we communicate with our customers and help them envision what a luxury automotive brand can offer across various aspects of their lives. Earlier this year, we unveiled the Electrified G80, the perfect balance of athletic 
elegance. Today, I don't know. Um, Land three enter. Uh, hopefully soon. Uh, they have to do this corporate thing SUV. first, I guess. But uh, electrified yeah. GV70. This new EV model manufactured. Thank you guys all for tuning in. Um, yeah, please do. Let me know how do you like this uh, sort of watch together thing. Uh, if you guys like this, uh, we're gonna try to do this more often. Uh, not only with Korean cars, but uh, you know, like let's say uh, the. They are introducing a uh, Corvette Z06, something like that, and we can watch it together and talk about it. Um, and hopefully, uh, soon in the future, we'll be on the spot, you know, giving you the news. So that's my kind of like whole idea. So, guys, do let me know. But these guys are just talking too much, right? <laughs> yeah. Thank you guys uh, for your support always while wide minimal horizontal graphics of the rear bumper a complete a modern yeah. image the a simplified times are skid plate without a tailpipe and okay here we go the electric suv presence inspired by so it's got no grill but still has the the crest grill like that offers a blank note for writing your own story it follows a driver focused design offering an intuitive you know many many of you said you know experience. pointed out the absence Today, of the crest grow for the genesis gv60 and uh, i think you're right uh genesis needs the crest grow and uh, i like that uh, genesis gv70 still retains the crest grow <laughs> looks like a chef it is a he's a famous designer sang yam lee that marks a new territory <laughs> Yeah, no exhaust Without pipe, no straight ado, piping. We hereby introduce the electrified GV70. Thank you. Mm. Here we go, intro video. So Genesis really seem to like uh, you know lines, two lines, three lines, lines everywhere. <laughs> no, Meng Lauren, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, I like the press bro. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, Vega, I'm sure they put lots and lots of hours preparing, uh, filming, and the uh, you know, executive officers they have to practice. So, yeah, I'm really um, I'm glad I can you know share the this uh, news with you guys. So. Yeah, Palisade Electric should be nice, and Palisade Electric. Or even PHB Palisade, I would really change my car then. Wow, they really made a long intro. Okay, here we go. Finally, guys. After 13 minutes. Oh my gosh. So he's back. And gentlemen, the Genesis Electrify GV70. An audacious product. In the age of audacious product as Jay said China is leading the acceleration towards electrification the launch of the electrified GV 70 is the second time that we are hosting a world premiere for Genesis outside of Korea both times mm. in China and both I really like to hear um, underscore what type of battery of the and uh, electric motors used to creating a sustainable future the electrified GV70 represents electric luxury for a vibrant lifestyle. Electric. It yeah. brings athleticism to the forefront and emphasizes an audacious attitude. With this product, the useful generation Two lines, yes. Genesis can design their own sustainable urban and outdoor adventures. The exterior design displays a careful consideration 
for aerodynamic efficiency and function. I'm sorry. The sleek reverse Ooh. G matrix See the pattern grill. It still has the G matrix pattern, but it's it's completely look. closed. The signature quad lens add a mm. finishing touch. Looks pretty much the, the same. The focused interior design, the electrified GV70 offers an intuitive and dynamic experience. Does it have crystal spear? Our commitment to sustainability. No, it just has a dial type. This vehicle is oh, is with a it still comes with the uh, three spoke steering wheel design, which is nice. And recycled nylon flooring that are used in an eco friendly way, all in a high quality finish. Uh. On the road, so lots of eco friendly. The GV70 delivers a powerful performance. It can go from 0 to 100 uh, in 5.1 5 seconds, seconds and can hit that speed in just 4.5 seconds in a special boost mode. Oh, so it's got boost mode. In addition, the electrified GV70 is the first Genesis model to feature the SUV specific e terrain mode, which enables a stable driving experience e -terrain in mode. various environments. The electrified okay. GV70 delivers an attractive range. Based on the CLTC standard, the estimated maximum range per charge is over 500 kilometers. Ooh, what? 350 kilowatt rapid charging enables the battery to charge from 10 to 80 percent in just 18 minutes. Hmm, same. The electrified GV70 also provides a vehicle to load feature that enables customers to use electric power of 3.6 kilowatt so that they B2L. can conveniently use electric appliances outside of the vehicle while enjoying an adventurous lifestyle wow, there are lots of comments. luxury. So five points, one seconds, but uh, 4.5 seconds if you use the boost the mode. Oh, Based thank you, Moon. Driving habits thank you, Moon. Conditions. Awesome. The product regenerates energy oh, the Grenzer. Yeah, really loved it. Um, Thank you guys. Uh, I, it seems like you guys really loved it, and I was really touched by Hyundai. Thank you. And drive shop, so they said uh, 500 kilo um, drive CLTC. Uh, I don't know what that is, um, but it should be quite nice. Yeah, 316. Thank you. IPaddle, drivers can use just one paddle to accelerate, decelerate. And stop so it's got uh, V2L and uh, one paddle driving um, as well um, so it seems to have a very similar thing our customers setting off on their own adventures in come on Palisade is nice car too <laughs> hog down launched in the Chinese market yes uh, I'm hearing uh, Hyundai is gonna roll out uh, next generations Hyundai Sonata and Grenza next year so stay tuned guys it's gonna be big our vehicles they are the first Genesis owners in China laying the foundation of a growing Genesis community to celebrate this special moment of becoming an owner. WLTC uh, is for Europe, right? Uh, I don't know what CLTC is. Is it like Chinese or something? In the luxury auto industry. <laughs> the entire handle yeah, Mustang mach -E. I really love to try Mustang mach -E. so that every part of the journey Thank you, Carly. Um, yeah, glad you guys love the uh, every new owner Hyundai who receives their Genesis vehicle retro style. It's, it's lovely, yes. You are picked up <laughs> by the Genesis Valet <laughs> service and driven in style by Genesis to a um, yeah I'm sure um, they're gonna bring it uh, hope you guys get it soon um, the electric GV70 when you're <laughs> ready you will be chauffeured to a Genesis showcase for the final step in the journey the gas Once model is already out there the magic happens a digital takeover transforms mm. the Genesis thanks Leonardo showcase. Based on your personal attributes, we create a unique digital star which is added to the community of Genesis owners that we call the Galaxy of Genesis. Ooh, Galaxy. This exclusive handover experience is enabled by a bespoke digital platform creating unforgettable and shareable moments. Let's mm. take a look at how this Thank you, Ed. I, I mean, first time hearing it. So I, th I think... Uh, what is this?
Oh, so it's it's about uh, the ownership experience in China. Oh. Like this, Howie. Agree. Volume was a little bit. Keep watching. Okay. Okay. I agree. So guys, do let me know. Um, let me just put a. Which one is your favorite Genesis model? Favorite Genesis model. Oh, I think they're done. Yeah. Clear from the reactions of the first Genesis owner that our commitment to push the boundaries and do things differently highly resonates with them. And we are looking forward to seeing this community the galaxy of Genesis galaxy, expand like that. and continue to grow. As you can see, in our first year in China, we've been inspired by the positive feedback from the market. The strong momentum that we have built up makes us confident in our future here. In 2022, we will expand our network to more than 10 stores across different cities in China. We will also bring more. So guys, do let me know what do you think about um, the Genesis brand in your area. Let me know um, if you're watching from North America, if you're watching from Europe, Middle East. Uh, do let me know how do you like the brand and how is the the brand perceived? Here in Korea, you know, it's it's pretty good. They're doing good, so I think they're done, right? Are they? Yeah. Okay. So let me just. Uh, all right. Now they're done, right? Let me just. Okay. So uh, yeah, this has been uh, just quick look on the Genesis um, GV70 uh, electric fight uh, model. Uh, they said. Uh, it will be able to hit uh, 0 to 100 uh, kilometers in about uh, 5.1 seconds. And if you use the, uh, or perhaps due to GV60's what do you call it, if you use the, uh, bang the boost mode, you can do it in 4.5 seconds. And uh, they're saying uh, CLTC standard is going to have a range of uh, 500 kilometers, which is about 316 miles. But uh, I'm not really sure uh, how the uh, CLTC uh, stacks up against uh, WLTP and other, uh, you know, like uh, MPGE stuff like that. So, uh, but uh, it's going to have a uh, same V2L and uh, also uh, it's going to be able to charge from uh, eight, eight, 10% to 80% within just 18 minutes. And it's going to also have a V2L. So uh, 3.6 kilowatts. Uh, energy can be used so if you have any questions uh let me know in the comment section please hmm. canada oh yeah canada you guys canada really seem to love uh korean car so thank you so much um stinger yeah stinger is a nice car yeah so thank you so much for your enthusiastic uh comments about the genesis brand and overall about hyundai and you know we uploaded about the uh the restaurant modes about the uh, hyundai grandeur and tony and you know when i visited last week uh hyundai motor city i feel really felt uh you know uh, you know because i'm korean i kind of felt proud how long hyundai has come a long way you know from a uh, little pony all the way up to genesis and they now build like huge uh, commercial vehicles uh, even powered by hydrogen fuel cells so stay tuned guys uh like you said uh they'll be rolling out many many cars um this december they're gonna roll out genesis um G90 flagship from the Genesis and also next year we are uh, expected to see uh, Genesis, uh, not Genesis, Hyundai, Sonata and 
grand uh, uh, era. So seems going to be another fun uh, year. So it's it's uh, you know November already. So I uh, hope you guys are uh, staying healthy. And uh, like I told you, next week we have a Seoul Motor Show. Uh, I think we'll be able to show you a few new cars uh, from Hyundai, Kia, Genesis, and we we'll also uh, try to sketch the. Uh, the the whole Seoul Motor Show and show you even foreign cars to uh, yeah what are the next new vehicles coming from, from, from Genesis Genesis G90 uh, which will be uh, released uh, December so stay tuned Bow Industries I'm not sure but well, it's, it's, a, it's a luxury brand so yeah, yeah Hyundai Sonata all new Hyundai Sonata Genesis coming next year yeah. what about the Genesis Coupe uh, we've shown you the uh, Genesis X concept so uh, hopefully uh, Hyundai or well, Genesis will make a I heard it's going to be EV too if they do make it so stay tuned guys yeah so uh, any more questions any more thoughts uh, I think they're, they're done with the, uh, the presentation and uh, yeah, so. let me know if you have any questions or anything last words uh, let me know. yeah Bird, I, I said, I, I heard uh, they really made, try to make the uh, Genesis G90 uh, targeting the younger demographics, the younger buyers. So I think it's going to be more slicker. Uh, and you know, like Genesis and Hyundai is now really good with the handling, so it's going to be quite nice. Yeah, me too. I, what car do you own? I own Hyundai Palisade. 3.8 V6 all drive system. Very thirsty. So really hope Hyundai will make a hybrid or plug-in hybrid. Okay? So, yeah, yeah. Moon, uh, they'll be making the Genesis G90 to compete against uh, Mercedes S-Class and uh, Audi and also uh, Mercedes, I mean, BMW 7 Series. GV60 yeah, 500 kilometers, which is 318 miles for CLTC uh, Chinese standard. This is live, Tom. Yes, thank you, guys. Um, but, uh, yeah, we're going to have to wait and see what the WLTP comes out. Uh, not sure about GV80 yet. Glad you liked this, Howie. Uh, we're going to try to do this more uh, often uh, with the Korean brands and, you know, even, uh, you know, U.S. cars and uh, European cars. <laughs> so, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Uh, this has been a quick look on the uh, all-new 2022 or 2023 even uh, Genesis GV70 All Electric. Hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll be back with much, much more. So if you love cars and car reviews, please do support us by subscribing to our channel and also hit that bell notification so you don't miss out in the future. Thank you guys. See you soon. Stay healthy and bye-bye.